Hey everybody, it's Dippio. And Nelly. Welcome back to Undertale. All right, in the last episode, we took care of the uh, Queen of the Spiders, or at least the well, Queen of the Spider yeah. Bake Sale. And she let us go. We didn't really take care of her. <laughs> she in was our, in our own Undertale kind of a way. <laughs> we took care of her. I was gonna say she was pretty much taking care of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was not 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 fun. But yeah. then uh, Metaton showed up, put us through a little <laughs> bit of a little bit of opera. Yeah, he wore a dress. <laughs> And then he was going to attack us, and Alphys uh, turned our heart yellow. We shot him one time, and he said, whatever, and ran off. <laughs> so that was that was last time. Now we're going back to what I believe is the right floor. <laughs> Let's see. And also the correct floor. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Little hot guy is shocked that we remembered his name. And we yep. were up here. Here we are. We're going to gonna left buy was, some nice cream. Yep. To the left was the stage for mm -hmm. Romeo and Juliet. So, yep, we're right here. Okay. So, let's talk to Nice Cream Vendor. Hey, it's -a you again. Business is excellent here. These two fellas bought all of my ice cream. <laughs> I've actually sold out of everything. Sorry. Wait, I've still got something for you. A big smile. How about that? Okay. I'm so happy. Nice cream is really changing the world. <laughs> <laughs> Again, bad accents. Yep. No offense. Don't be offended. <laughs> oh, hey. We're like taking a rain check on that killing you thing. Like, don't tell Undyne about this, okay? You he seems, seems happy. happy. <laughs> you didn't tell her, did you? I Yes, I did. Bye. Okay. <laughs> Wait, what's downstairs? Downstairs is where we came up from. He dropped us in the dungeon, and we got through the dungeon, and then we came up into that room. Okay. All right. Well, we got sands, which is awesome. Hey, go up the creepy alleyway on the right for some great deals. For some great deals. Do you want to talk to... Yeah, just in case something goes wrong. Right, in case that's right. like Metaton trying to kill us in the alley. <laughs> hey, I heard you going to the core. How about grabbing some dinner with me first? Yeah. yeah. Great, thanks for treating me. <laughs> Over here, I know a shortcut. What? We just didn't go down the other <laughs> creepy alley. Well, here we are. So, your journey's almost over, huh? You must really want to go home. Hey, I know the feeling, Bono. Though, maybe sometimes it's better to take what's given to you. Down here, you've already got food, drink, friends. Is what you have to do really worth it? Aww. Ah, uh, forget it. I'm rooting for you, kid. He's sad. He doesn't want us to go. Hey, let me tell you a story. So, I'm a sentry in Snowden Forest, right? I sit out there and I watch for humans. It's kind of boring. Fortunately, deep in the forest, there's this huge locked door. And it's perfect for practicing knock-knock jokes. <laughs> so one day, I'm knocking them out like usual. I knock on the door and say, knock, knock. And suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there? So, naturally, I respond, dishes. Dishes who? This is a very bad joke. <laughs> then she just howls with laughter. Like, it's the best joke she's heard in a hundred years. So I keep them coming, and she keeps laughing. It's Toriel. That's why mm -hmm. she had the journal with the knock, <laughs> the knock jokes about Bonely. Oh, did she have knock-knock mm -hmm. jokes? <laughs> or skeleton jokes. Anyway. Right. So, yeah, so Toriel, he was talking to on the other <laughs> side. So I keep him coming and she keeps laughing. She's the best audience I've ever had. Then, after a dozen of them, she knocks and says, Knock-knock. I say, who's there? Old lady. Old lady who? Oh, I didn't know you could yodel. <laughs> wow. Needless to say, this woman was extremely good. 
We kept telling each other jokes for hours. Eventually, I had to leave. Papyrus gets kind of cranky without his bedtime story. But she told me to come by again, and so I did. Then I did again, and again. It's a thing now. Telling bad jokes through the door. It rules. One day though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. I asked her what was up. Then she told me something strange. If a human ever comes through this door, could you please, please promise something? Watch over them and protect them, will you not? Now I hate making promises. And this woman, I don't even know her name. But, someone who sincerely likes bad jokes has an integrity you can't say no to. <laughs> Do you get what I'm saying? That promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Hey, lighten up, bucko. I'm just joking with you. Besides, haven't I done a great job protecting you? I mean, look at yourself. You haven't died a single time. Uh, no, we yeah, well, yeah. We <laughs> hey, what's that look supposed to mean? Just to make me have. <laughs> Am I wrong? <laughs> yes, you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Because someone really cares about you. Interesting. It's a platoon of ficuses. A platoon of them, huh? <gasps> it's a gingerbread man with four nipples. <laughs> what? <laughs> he's, he's, he's whacked out on meth right now, I think. <laughs> As I came in, I, I realized I, I forgot to make a reservation. But I, but I didn't want to look like I was messed up, man. So I kept walking in anyway. Now I'm just kind of consuming dew off this ficus. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yep, yep. Told you. Whacked out on meth. Oh, wow. Some kind of TV show featuring Metaton. Oh, it's Hellboy. Hellboy and, um, and one of the, like, little helmet guys from Me uh, Mega Man. There we go. <laughs> and Snowdrake. Okay, who do we want to talk to first? I... Little helmet guy. Okay. I work at the core. The inside is a maze made of swappable parts. That means we can shuffle the layout at will. Boy, was today a fun day. I sure love puzzle. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> I'm the resort comedian. I'm very funny. People laugh at my jokes. Now, my son, he wants to be a comedian like his father. But his jokes aren't funny. He tells these awful puns. He's an embarrassment to our family. <laughs> That's not funny. Since his mother passed on, he couldn't stand living at home anymore. So he ran away. I haven't seen him since. I'm a terrible father. <laughs> That's not funny. <laughs> well, if you remember when we fought Snowdrake, he was like, See, Dad, I am funny. <laughs> like he was saying those things. Yes. Uh, this uh, it's been a while since we saw him. Originally, we dug mazes with puzzles in order to foil human attacks. But now, building things, winding and confusing, it's some awful tradition. You can't go <coughs> two feet without being up to your armpits and puzzles. <laughs> right. Whoa. What? Hello? That looks like uh, the, the onions, onion song or whatever. <laughs> blum, blum. <laughs> You'll have to reserve a table to eat here. You'll also need to reserve your chair, your silverware, your food, your... <laughs> oh, I tried to read the book. Separate no. thing. More blub blub. 
Oh. Wow. We're inside. Oh, we're inside. Can we go out? All right, we're going out just because I want to go up the alley. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, check it out. Yeah, check it out. Yeah, wow. <laughs> um, about you two. I'm Braddy, and this is my best friend, Caddy. I'm Caddy, and this is my best friend, Braddy. <laughs> we're supposed to do that at the same time. <laughs> The stuff inside is like... Totally wicked expensive. But, like, this stuff we found is like... Totally wicked cheap. You should... Like... Totally, totally wicked, wicked buy, buy all, all of, of it. it. <laughs> I mean, like, where does anyone get guns or food or... We found it in the garbage. <laughs> it's, it's like good garbage. Really good garbage. Where do we get the garbage? Like, the garbage store, duh. I found a gun in a dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh my, my god, god Metaton. Metaton. He's Actually, like, he's like my, my robot, robot husband. husband. <laughs> I think we're like, like already both going married to marry him. To him. <laughs> <laughs> he just like doesn't know it yet. So, like, Dr. Alphys built Metaton, right? That's, like, what they tell you. But, like, Metaton always acts like... Being built was his idea somehow. And even right after he was built. He acted like Alphys was an old friend. But they're, like, not friends anymore. Yeah, and, like, me and Braddy, best friends forever. <laughs> Wait, about Metaton old? Yes, yeah, it's the same thing. Okay. Oh, oh my, my god, god Alphys. She, she was like a big sister. <laughs> I mean like, if your big sister takes you on trips to the dump. She showed us the coolest places to find she trash. She was always collecting these weird cartoons. Then she became the royal scientist. Yeah, we haven't seen her in forever. So Alphys has always like thought Asgore is super cute. So like, I'm pretty sure she made Metaton to like totally impress him. A robot with a soul. That's like super relevant to his hobbies. So after seeing Metaton, Asgore- After to do all of the science stuff for him, but nobody's like seen anything from her yet. Or her at she all. She must like just stay in her lab all day. Like live a little girl. Yeah, like us. <laughs> oh, oh my God. He's a big fuzzy He's goofball. He's a total goober. He's like, like so nice. I love nice. that guy. God, we're, we're like, like so hyped for, for the destruction, destruction of, of humanity. humanity. <laughs> 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 Thanks, but we like don't really oh need anything. Oh my god, can you get us some glam burgers? Glam burgers. We don't really need anything. Wait, I'll pay you a thousand gold if you get Metatron to autograph my butt. <laughs> Junk food has a bite out of it. Empty uh, gun, 12 attack. Cowboy hat, 12 defense, plus one defense, attack open one. Mystery key, probably to someone's house. That's more money than we have. LOL. There's oh, some locked houses. There's at... a few locked houses. There's that locked house in Snowden. Mm -hmm. Aren't there a couple locked houses in Snowden? There might be a couple. There's Undyne's house was locked. The big fish face house. Mm -hmm. Ooh, we might have to come back here when we have some money. Okay, so we can't do We don't have to right fight now. any more spiders. All right. We'll have to like, like later See you later. <laughs> <laughs> they're not, they're not valley girls. They're alley girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. And what is this thing? It looks like an origami clown. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> okay. What, what does an origami clown sound like? I have no idea. <laughs> Welcome to MTT Resort, Hotland's biggest apartment building turned hotel. Whether you're here for a night or still live here, MTT Resort prides itself on a great stay. Just passing through? Nice! MTT Resort prides itself on being passed through. 
That's a weird way to say that. <laughs> it's like a colon. <laughs> All right, the relaxing atmosphere of this hotel, it fills it you with determination. determination. I like how we're spitting on the rug. Yeah, like, <laughs> can we look at that and <laughs> take comment it. on that? There's an inscription on this fountain. Royal Memorial Fountain, built 20 years for a Metaton added last week. <laughs> okay. Whoa, look at all the oh, monsters. hello. Whoa. What? It's a hand? Yes, we know the elevator to the city is not working. Because of this incident, rooms are running at a special rate. 200 to a room. Interested? No. Do not. Do let us know if you change your mind. Have a sparkular day. A sparkular day. I don't huh? know what that means. All right. Um, who's first? <laughs> you can. <laughs> you can. You can be business chimera. <laughs> 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 what what is a business guy? <laughs> this elevator goes straight to the capital, but it stopped working. The hotel's doing its best to accommodate everybody stuck here. Is that it? Me? I just like explaining things to passersby. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm not gonna be home tonight. Um, I think there's some cold pizza in my treasure hoard you can heat up. <laughs> As a slime, I'm outraged. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> wow, room service. Got my CT? Nope. Then. <laughs> it's locked, locked from, from the inside. inside. <laughs> oh. Wow, room service. Got my cinnamon bun? Nope. Then, I so we need CT and cinnamon bun. Face dripping on the floor. And then he has to keep mopping it up. You hear shuffling. Seems like you could put something under the door. Put, put. But you didn't have anything appealing. And they're like throwing all this stuff at us mm -hmm. now. Okay, let's talk to the... Drippy, droopy dude. dude. Seems so busy. Yeah. yeah, he does. He does. So we need a cinnamon bun and CT. And oh. something that we can slip under a door. Yeah. I don't know. Burger Emporium. <laughs> Welcome to MTT Brand Burger Emporium, home of the Glam Burger. Sparkle up your day. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's against the rules to talk to customers who haven't bought anything. The customer is always right. <laughs> Starfate, Glam Burger, legendary hero, steak in the shape of <laughs> Metaton's face. Please don't ask. <laughs> uh, very popular food. Um, 120. So, so what it is, is if we were leveling up, we would have more HP? Because we still only have 20 HP. None of yes, this stuff is yes, beneficial to no, us because no. we don't have hit points. I am now looking at things from the aspect of... Why is this person trying to sell me something? This is a hamburger restaurant. I'm just trying to survive. Wow. <laughs> Have a sparkler day. <laughs> Looks like Ren. I'm from Ren scared of him. Oh, that's why we're leaving. The Hello? elevator's not working. The elevator is in use. Okay. What? It's in use and it's not working both? It's both. Oh, to the core. Okay. Um... Just out of curiosity, not out of curiosity, out of caution. All right. Now we're CT and CT and cinnamon buttons. I want to keep my eye out for because yes. clearly something there. What do we have on us right now? Item. Some bicycles, because you were gonna buy a couple nice cream from that guy. Yeah. Um. Hot dog, hot cat. The other one was... Bring in a crab apple. Why? Just in case we get into a big fight. Oh. I was more thinking of... Is there anything... That could pass as a cinnamon bun or a... See if... Oh. See if... What? Dog residue slided under the door. That's what I want to say. Yeah. Like, <laughs> it, maybe not. Right? But, uh, is it here? It's the last door. 
put a dog residue in front of the door. It slides underneath the door as if pulled by a magnet. Two dog residues slowly slide what? back out from underneath what? the door. What? Well, hang on. What happens if you put it again? <laughs> does it does it just keep? I don't know. Let's see. Zoom! It shoots back out at high speed. <laughs> Because okay. you don't have a space to put a second one. I guess not. <laughs> okay, well, that worked. Um, <laughs> we don't need not sure. those residues. Yeah, I'm not sure what the point of that was, but uh, let's see. All right. Put the dog residues back. What so is, gross. What is that for? Let's see. Dimensional box B. Crab apple and hot dog. We'll take the astronaut food. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Headed to the core. Uh-oh, more twins. Huh? Who are they? N nobody else is s supposed to be here. Oh, well, we can't worry about that now. Mm, maybe now is when we should worry about that. Twins. It's the twins from The Shining. <laughs> Ready? This is it! Take the elevator up to the top of the core. I gotta dance. And I gotta ignore her. Uh, uh, hey, why don't you try to use the elevator first? W watch out! Magic. Magic. Out of attack. Okay. Check. This magical mercenary only says magic words. Hocus pocus. Whoa, whoa. Magic whispers arcane, arcane swear, swear words. words. <laughs> Clear mind. You ignore magic and think of pollen and sunshine. Your defense increased by one. Please and thank you. Magic words. Whoa, that was fast. Okay, smells, smells like, like magic. magic. Stare. Where to stare? Chaser orb? It's weakened by your glare. Alakazam! Whoa! Holy crap! But at least they're not dropping things. Yeah, but I think I'd prefer it. Um, okay. Tinkle, tinkle, tinkle hoy. hoy. That's a magic word I don't know. Never heard it. I didn't read that Harry Potter book. <laughs> Stare at the corner orb. It's weakened by your glare. <laughs> Is it shooting crosses at us? What weird part of the world have we come into? <laughs> no, his orbs are incapacitated. Oh. So you can mercy him. Sweet. Spare. Goodbye, magic. But that was close! Why are there so many monsters here? I mean, it's no problem, right? We've just got to keep heading forward. Except by forward, she means back to the elevator. Uh-oh. Looks like you can't proceed until you hit the switch. I think. But, but those lasers will activate when you do. Um, looks like they'll come in this order. Orange, orange, blue. Got it? Move until the third one. Whoop. Oh my god, are you hurt? I, I'm so sorry I gave you the wrong order. Everything's going to be fine, okay? L l let's just keep heading to the right. A crossroads, huh? Um, tr tr try heading to the right. That's what I'm going to do. Well, wait, no, I think you should be heading up. Huh? I, I guess this was the right way. M more lasers. Okay, I, I won't mess around this time. I'll just deactivate the lasers and let you through. 
Uh, they're not turning off. I can't turn them off. I, I, it's okay. I have this under control. I'm going to turn off the power for that whole node. Then you can walk across. Okay, go. Okay, when are they going to come back on? Mm -hmm. Oh, Whoa. wow. Yeah, that wouldn't work. But wait, stop! The, the power, it's turning itself back on! D damn it! This this isn't supposed to... I... I'm gonna turn it off again. When it turns off, move a little, and then stop. Okay? You won't get hurt. Red light, green light. See? I've got everything under control. Everything's under control! She's bugging me. Okay, you- you should- you should- I don't know! This doesn't look like my map at all! I'm sorry, I- I- I, I have to go! Interesting. Oh. Well, the air is filled with something. Oh, we're determined. Okay, let's see. I feel I like... I want to know what would have happened if we had gone up the elevator now. Yeah. Like, can we go back at this point? Yeah. Let's see. I'm such a grass is greener when I play these kind of games. I'm like, no, no, no. This is clearly the right way. <laughs> right. Like, what's up here? Oh, it's these guys again. Monsters. It's the mo- Whoa! Night Night blocks the way. Haven't seen that before. Night Night. This Megaton mercenary wields the good morning star. Goodbye. Whew. Sing. Sing an old lullaby. Night Night starts to look sleepy. I do. Whoa. Night Night. Sing. You keep singing. Night Night closes its eyes a bit. The one's on his chest? I don't know. What is this circle? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Sing. Keep singing. You keep singing. Night Night falls asleep. Night Night is snoring. Mercy. The night, night Night is not that bad. Sorry, I... I I thought that... Let's try the right path instead. So it looks like she told us to take the elevator. The elevator wouldn't have worked. Probably not, but... I'm just... I gotta see. I gotta <laughs> see. Like, I hate... I, it's dumb, but I hate when I go the right way the first time. Yeah. I hate being lost, but I hate when I go the right way the first time. Oh, <laughs> look at that. <laughs> Blatant dead end. Blatant dead end. Elevator isn't working. W what? The elevator should be working. Well, well then, go to the right and keep heading up. All right, yeah. so we'll go back to where we came from. Yeah, everything she says is wrong. Because everything she says is wrong. <laughs> As opposed to that other enemy we fought that everything it said was magic. Every little thing it says is magic. <laughs> <laughs> Man, this core is gonna be extensive, I think. Like this game felt really straightforward until the end, and now I feel like, it's like ah, you all know, open. Da, 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 yeah, da, 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 stuff over here, over here, over here, over here. Right, which way do you want to go? All right. Well, um, I think uh, based on the fact that I think this was going to be extensive, um, why don't we go ahead and call it here? We got a good spot, um, a good branching path, and we'll do a little bit of exploring here some more next time. Okay. All right, guys. Well, uh, thank you so much for uh, joining us. We learned a little bit more about Sands today, which was really kind of cool. Uh, especially when he broke his comic <laughs> was like you would be dead where you stand like <laughs> totally like serious I feel like he's done that to us one other time I don't remember what yeah I don't know but that was like pretty that was pretty yeah. cool alright well, and, and him and 
what's her face been? Toriel been talking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that she's like protect. Yeah. yeah. No, that's very. I, I love. I, I love seeing where this story's gonna go. Okay, well, uh, we'll pick up here next time. Uh, we'll debate. I'm saying left because that's what I always do, but we'll we'll figure it out next time, <laughs> guys. Thank you so much. Hope to see you again next time. Bye bye.